CBSE Class 12 Practical Skills in Physics Experiment Number 2 Measurement of Electromotive Force and Potential Difference 2.1 To compare the EMF of two given primary cells using potentiometer Aim To compare the EMF of two given primary cells using potentiometer Materials required Potentiometer Battery resistance box jockey galvanometer ammeter rheostat connecting wires battery eliminator a two way key leclanchy cell daniel cell sandpaper one way key ammeter and voltmeter procedure a potentiometer is an instrument which is used to measure the internal resistance of cell compare the emf of the two cells and potential difference across a resistor setting up the apparatus draw the circuit diagram of potentiometer as shown in the figure clean the ends of connecting wires with sandpaper to remove insulation make the connections as per the circuit diagram connect the positive terminal of battery e and two cells of the emfs e1 and e2 to zero at end a of the potentiometer wire ab connect the negative terminal of the cells e1 and e2 to the terminals a and b of the two way key measure the value of emf of the battery e and emfs of e1 and e2 using a voltmeter ensure that e is greater than e1 and e is also greater than e2 connect one end of the resistance box rb through a key k2 to the common terminal of the two way key connect the negative terminal of the battery e to the end b of potentiometer wire use a one way key ammeter and a rheostat for this connect another end of resistance box to jockey through a sensitive galvanometer The jockey should slide over the potentiometer wire to give null deflection in the galvanometer. Checking the correctness of connections. Connect the ends A and C of two-way key to bring the cell E1 in the circuit. Leave the key K2 open. Make the rheostat resistance at minimum. by sliding it introduce a high resistance in the circuit from resistance box the high resistance is used for limiting the current through the galvanometer this is necessary to prevent any damage to the galvanometer place the jockey at the zero end of the potentiometer wire observe the direction of deflection in galvanometer now place the jockey at another end of the potentiometer wire observe the direction of deflection in galvanometer this should be opposite to what was observed in the previous step if both the directions are opposite to each other it shows correct connections if this is not so then this can be because of loose connections this can be because of emf of battery being lower than that of cells e1 and e2 carry out necessary rectification to ensure deflection in opposite direction measurement of balancing length after checking for deflections in opposite direction close the key k2 after that slide the jockey gently over the potentiometer wire to get accurate position for of the balance point j Note down the length AJ is equal to L1 cm. Repeat the procedure while moving the jockey in opposite direction. Record the second value for L1. Bring the cell of EM of E2 in the circuit. This is done by connecting the ends B and C of two way key. Now, obtain balancing length AJ1 is equal to L2 in two conditions. Repeat above steps 3 times by shifting their contact points of rheostat 
from minimum resistance to maximum resistance. Note down your observations and calculate the ratio of balancing length. Observations Result The ratio of EMFs for Leglange cell to Daniel cell is E1 by E2 is equal to to determine the internal resistance of given primary cell using potentiometer. Aim to determine the internal resistance of the given primary cell using potentiometer. Materials required Potentiometer Given primary cell Battery A jockey Voltmeter Galvanometer Ammeter Rheostat Connecting wires Two one-way key, resistance box, sandpaper. Procedure. The resistance offered by the electrolyte of the cell to the flow of ions inside the electric cell is called the internal resistance of the cell. The internal resistance of a cell can be measured using a potentiometer. Setting up circuit. Draw a circuit diagram as shown in the given figure. Clean the ends of connecting wires with sandpaper. Make connections according to the circuit diagram. Testing the correctness of the connections. Measure EMF of the battery and cell E. EMF of battery should be more than that of the individual cell. Insert the plug in the key K1 and keep the K2 open. Note the ammeter reading. Place the jockey at the ends A and B of the potentiometer and note the directions of deflection in the galvanometer for the two ends. If the galvanometer shows deflection in opposite directions for end A and B, then connections are made correct. Determining balancing length L1 Introduce a high resistance from the resistance box. Slide the jockey over the potentiometer wire to get the balanced point. Measure the balancing length L1 between balanced point and the end A of the wire. Repeat the same steps to take 3 to 4 readings. Determining balancing length L2. Insert the key plug in the key K2 so that shunt resistance also come in the circuit. Slide the jockey gently over the potentiometer wire to get the balanced point. Measure the balancing length L2 and repeat the above steps to get 3 to 4 readings. Note observations and calculate internal resistance of the cell. Observations and calculations Result, internal resistance R of the given primary cell is 